Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, device which does not exist was specified USB error. How do you fix it? Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. Let's get started. So, if you're having this issue with your USB device, well, there are a few things that you may want to do first. So, first is you want to do some basic troubleshooting. So, you may want to disconnect your USB from which port it's currently connected and maybe try a different port. Now, sometimes the port itself may be malfunctioning, so try another one and see if that helps. Now, if that, does, that doesn't help, the next thing that you want to do is you may want to change a few settings here. So, first things first is you want to go ahead and uh, look uh, for the following options here. So, you want to open up uh, Explorer first and see if the USB itself is up here. Now, sometimes uh, the USB itself may not have a proper uh, a type of a letter assigned to it. So that's why changing the letter sometimes can help. So how do you do that? So you want to exit this one, go to search here, and just type in the following. It's going to be a device. Uh, nope. So it's going to be disk manager. Go ahead, open this up. And what you need to do is you want to go ahead and look for your previous disk. So uh, in this case, I am actually actually have the disk 3 here. So it's going to be USB. So that's the name of the USB you have problem with. So you can just right click on it. Click on uh, the option for change drive letter and path. Click on this one. Click on the change button. And you can go and just choose uh, whichever letter is it that is available as of right now. So maybe like choose F or G or H as long as it doesn't have any uh, similar uh, letter or in it. Also, if you don't see any letters in here, just click on add and do the same thing. So go and choose uh, assign a following drive letter here. And once you've done that, you go and click on OK to add that drive letter and see if that helps. Now, if this doesn't help, the last thing that you could try doing here is you may want to run a simple command. So I want to exit this one, just type in CMD, right click on command prompt, click on run as administrator, and answer yes, it requires further permission. Now in here, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and enter the following command. So it's going to be CHKDSK, and then the letter nforge-f nforge-r. So the letter here is going to be the letter that is assigned to your drive or USB, so you're going to just press enter. Oh, by the way, this is the correct format here. It's going to be the letter first, then uh, some comma or some uh, colon here. Now, go and press enter. It's now going to start scanning here. Now, what you need to do is just need to wait for this to complete. And if you do get some error here, just press Y on your keyboard. And when you restart your PC, it will do the same process here in the background. But that's about it. So... Uh, if you are still having some issues with your USB hard drive here, uh, it might mean that the hard drive itself may be broken hardware-wise, so meaning the drive itself may be faulty. Or if you just recently bought it, it's best to consult the uh, support team or uh, from whoever you bought it from. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.